Why is your job so important? Well, first of all, it's because of what I discovered while doing research for lies my teacher told me. And that is how bad uh, high school history textbooks are. Uh, there's no other field where there's such a disconnect between what we know in the academy, what we know in the college library, and what seeps into the high school. And I have a whole, obviously I have whole talks on that, uh, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna inflict those talks or that talk on you right now. Uh, furthermore, while doing the research for lies my teacher told me, I came to learn that only one out of every six Americans ever takes a history course after they leave high school. Of course, many people don't go on to college, and when they do go on to college, they tend to uh, avoid history, like the plague, because it was so boring in high school. Only one-sixth uh, takes a history course after they leave high school. So where do we learn about the past? We do have a passion for the past. We see this in many ways, the popularity of, of the Civil War on TV, or the popularity of, of JFK, or Dances with Wolves. Not the best movies always, but, but the uh, serious movies about the past. Well, we learn about them at the places you run. We learn about them at historic sites, and historical markers, and museums, and forts, and so on. And so I'm afraid that oftentimes we mislearn things at those sites. And that's why I'm, that's why I'm here. Um, first one, thou shalt not lie. Now, you might think that's a little bit over the top. But uh, there are plenty of historic sites, maybe yours, uh, that do lie, and let me show you this one. This is, of course, Wheatlands. This is the home of President Buchanan, James Buchanan. Uh, of course, he was the president who led to the Civil War, and he did lead to the Civil War in certain ways, besides just chronologically. Um, I toured it, my son and I toured it, with a group of four, counting my son and I, uh, or me, and um, it's, not a, it's not a hugely visited site. Uh, and at the end of the tour, I usually make these tours and don't say much until the very end, so I learn what the average person learns, rather than get into a whole big dialogue with a, with a tourist guide. Uh, at the end, I asked our guide, who happened to be the director of the place, two short questions. First, was he gay? That's a short question. Um, and the answer was no. That was a short answer. And to prove it, he took us up the main stairway, where we'd already been before, but to an oval-framed portrait at the top of the stairs, which showed the young woman to whom Buchanan was engaged for, a couple, for several months in his mid-twenties. And this proved he was not gay. <laughs> well, it turns out that, uh, according to a, a girlfriend of hers, she broke off the engagement because, quote, he never could seem to show her proper affection, unquote. And she eventually, as they say in those days, she died of a broken heart about it. She did die shortly thereafter. Uh, 